This is me attempting to hit a bullet with an arrow. And this is me trying to break a glass with a needle. These are just two of the craziest challenges you guys sent me. And today, I decided to try the six hardest of them all. But when I started this journey, I had no idea how challenging that was gonna be. Level one out of six. Shooting arrows extremely fast. My goal was to shoot three arrows in four seconds. You're basically asking me to become Legolas, but Italian and with round ears. Anyways, I tested my current speed and it took me 15 seconds to shoot three arrows. I had to get five times faster. I gotta figure out the best method to pick up a new arrow after I shoot one. I got no idea. I tried by leaving the arrows on the ground. Didn't work and I was losing hope. But then I watched a few videos and I owe everything to this guy because his technique could actually work. Basically, you put an arrow in the right position and the other one just on top of that, holding it with your fingers this way. Let me try and I can shoot again. This is great! The only problem is that I had to do it with three arrows instead of two and that made it ten times harder. I was still slow but I was on the right track and when you believe you are doing something right the only option you have is keep trying. Moreover, if I couldn't do this how was I ever gonna be fast enough to hit a bullet with an arrow? Luckily, after one hour of practice I kinda invented a new technique and thanks to that I got faster and faster. I was still frustrated because I was almost there but I could never get it perfect. But after 30 more minutes, this happened. This was so fast! Oh my god! And then I got it again. This was hard, and it was just the first and easiest skill of the list. But in the meantime, I moved to level number two, which wasn't gonna be an easy one. I wanna try to climb this wall in less than three seconds. Not gonna lie, it's pretty tall. I just hope I don't fall. I was pretty scared. I mean, a few things could go wrong with this one, but I tried anyways. I gotta figure out the best way to place my feet, but I don't even know if this is possible. And even if it kept going pretty bad, after a while, something happened. I finally managed to get some improvement. I'm not sure I was on the right track, but it was something. Alright, I think I figured out the next step. I know exactly where to place my foot. I need to jump high enough to then grab the next level up there and then... <laughs> Then I got no idea, but I mean, we keep trying, all right? But after the first step, I was completely stuck. Oh my God. Like, what do I do now? I kept trying over and over with absolutely no improvement. <laughs> and I was getting tired. All right, I'm gonna stop for a while. I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna try a few other skills and then we're gonna get back to this and we're gonna freaking get it. Let's do it. Level three out of six. Breaking the speed limit on a bike. The speed limit is 50 kilometers per hour, or 31 miles per hour. And to reach that speed, I found the steepest street in my hometown. There is just a problem. The street is short and tight. So if I don't break soon enough, it's not gonna end well. I had to ride twice as fast as I've ever been on a bike. And I had no idea what I was doing, but I couldn't be defeated. All right, guys, it's just you and me now. And so I just threw myself. And I got extremely close right away. And even for the next attempts, I was close, but I honestly couldn't wait to stop. I was scared, but I kept trying, pushing as hard as I could, and I kept pedaling even if my brain was screaming at me to stop. Then breaking as hard as possible, and then going back up. I kept doing this so many times, and so many times I was close. Come on! We're almost there! And then I tried one more time, pedaling as hard as I could. I was going so fast, and I actually got it. Quanto fatto? <laughs> yes! Yes, go! All right, let's move to the next one. Level four out of six. Do the Keanu Reeves challenge. I love that, but I live in Europe, guys, and I've never seen a gun in my life. So I'm gonna use an airsoft pistol for this one. So my goal is hitting three balloons in two seconds, which is pretty hard because I have literally no experience with these things. But I was so excited for this one. And after a bit of preparation, I started. Safety. Good start. This is gonna take so much time. And my prediction was right. I kept missing my shots or popping one balloon and then missing the other ones. But then after 20 minutes, I said this. I was pretending to be bad. The reality is that John Wick is my father and now I'm gonna get it. Oh my god, I almost got it actually! But no worries, that was just a joke. Now, I'm gonna get it. No! Oh! Honestly, I have no idea why, but I was actually getting super close, consistently. And now we're gonna get it, alright. But after that, 
this actually happened. Yes! Let's go! That was yes, insane. Go. And I was pretty excited when I saw the timer. It took me about one second to pop the balloons. After that, I lost my gun, but it didn't matter. Level four was done. So I had parkour and the two hardest challenge left. But Keanu Reeves made me confident enough to go back to the wall. And literally the first attempt, this happened. As I hurt myself so bad, but it's not even here. It's here. Like inside. Anyways, I think I figured it out. I need to step with the right foot here, step with the left foot here, grab that thing with my left hand and grab the other one with my right hand. Then using my legs and my arms, pull myself up and reach in the top of the wall. And all that in less than three seconds. <laughs> this, this is crazy, but we can do it though. I tried a few times once again, but I couldn't do anything. What do I do there? I was stuck. I literally tried to climb and I couldn't even do that. I was expecting to do this in three seconds. At this point, I just... <laughs> I don't even know if I can do it. There's gotta be a way. I decided to stop again for a while, but I wasn't giving this one up. I was gonna climb the wall in less than three seconds, no matter what. I was frustrated. And besides the wall run, I still had the two hardest skills of the list. Level five out of six. Breaking a glass using a needle. My goal is throwing the needle and pop in the balloon. That's sweet. I consider myself an expert in throwing toothpicks, pens, and a bunch of other things. But breaking a glass with a needle sounds hard. But anyways, I started trying and literally nothing happened. It's gonna be a long day. Sometimes I think that I really love learning new stuff. It keeps us sharp and it makes the world around us really fun. But sometimes it's really, really hard. You see what I mean? And that's why I'm proudly partnering with Brilliant.org for this video. And no matter what, we're gonna get this. I absolutely love Brilliant because it makes it easy to learn a little every single day. And quickly build up to mastering some cutting edge topics like how artificial intelligence works. Now I'm gonna get it. Maybe not. I train my logic every single day on Brilliant and I am absolutely in love with the logic class. It feels like it's making me smarter, which is pretty hard. Found it! And on top of that, they have thousands of classes with new ones added every single month. Nothing was happening. I was throwing as hard as I could and not even scratching it, like it's absolutely fine. Brilliant is the best way to learn math, science and computer science interactively. And it's an easy way to boost your analytical skills every single day, which is basically the secret to being able to learn any new skill. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash MikeShake or click the link in the description. And the first 200 of you will also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. I tried two more times and then this happened. Happened. No, Tio. I lost the needle because I somehow missed. I missed the glass. All right, I just got a new needle and I saw from a video I watched that the best way to hold it is this way on the bottom. So we're gonna try that, we're gonna get it. And so I started trying once again with the new strategy. I literally gave everything I had because I only wanted one thing, smashing the glass. But I was quickly getting tired then. I kept thinking that I still had two extremely hard skills after this one. I had to get this. After 40 minutes of trying, my shoulder was about to give up, but suddenly this happened. Yes! <laughs> yes! That was insane. But I had two skills left, the wall run and the most impossible skill of the list. I went back to the wall and I couldn't wait. And I think I got a solution. Now we're gonna try it and we're gonna get it. I kept trying to climb the wall from the corner, but then I changed something. And even if it was slow and risky, at least I got on top for the first time. <laughs> now I just wanna do it in less than two seconds. And so I started practicing and every single time I got on top. All right, guys, we can do it. I only had to get way faster. You know, I always try to show you that you can literally do anything you want. But what's great about the learning process is that it's not just about keep doing the same thing over and over. If you change something, you understand that you can solve problems and improve just like that. Slow, still slow, come on. It's a balance between changing and not stopping. I love it. I was getting so close over and over. And after all this struggle, after some changes, I finally got it. I think it. that was it. Let's check it. We did it, yes, go! Level six out of six. This is basically impossible. Hitting a bullet, me there with an arrow. The comment says bullet, but I don't wanna die, you know. So I'm gonna use a paintball gun and protections. So it's gonna be unpleasant, but not harmful. I just wanna see how fast this thing shoots. 
I was actually worried this was gonna hurt bad. And I was also worried about how hard hitting a bullet me there was gonna be. But I guess there was only one way to find out. So I set up the paintball gun. And even if I was scared, the plan was pretty simple. As soon as my friend pulled the trigger from far away, I had to perfectly center the arrow in the middle of the barrel and hit the ball. And literally at the first shot, I got hit. Then again, then again. And it kept going this way for a long time. I mean, I was seriously close, but the more I tried, the more this felt impossible. I've been throwing arrows and getting hit by paintballs for two hours, and I'm not getting it. But I stayed true to my belief. I knew if I didn't stop trying, no matter what, if I didn't give up, I was gonna get it, eventually. So, I bought new arrows, and I started trying all over again. Throwing arrows, getting hit by paintballs, traveling extremely fast, and then throwing arrows once again. But this time, the more I tried, the more confident I got. I kept getting extremely close, over and over. I knew it was just about not giving up at this point. And literally after four hours of practice, finally, something happened. Oh my god! I think I got it! I think I got it! The pitbull was traveling so fast, I wasn't even sure that I hit it. But the footage confirmed everything. We actually got it. If we don't stop trying, we can literally do anything we want. Yes, go! Subscribe and click the bell to not miss the next videos. And if you like this video, check this one too. I think you'll like it.